Smartphone maker HTC starts shipping its new device called the One M9 today. But that's not what has the tech community buzzing. The company is developing a new virtual reality headset. And it's teaming up with gaming company Valve to make it all happen. CNET editor Dan Ackerman sat down with the president of HTC Americas, Jason McKenzie, to get the inside scoop. The world within ours. So Jason, let's talk about virtual reality. It's a concept that if you don't follow the video game industry very closely, maybe you haven't heard about since you know the 80s and the 90s where maybe there were some clunky demos or it showed up in a lot of science fiction films. Tell me what virtual reality means today in kind of the modern sense of the word. This is a developer unit. So you can, you can see it's a, it's, a big, it's a big thing you're going to wear. The difference of ours uh, versus a lot of the other guys is um, ours is fully immersive. So we have this thing we refer to as full room scale 360, which basically means that you're looking at something, interacting with something. You can walk all the way around it. It's not just you know sitting and kind of um, looking at it from the sides. You can really get around and look under it, above it, whatever it is. So you're really going into the world. Now, all these sensors what they are is because you're in a room you're gonna set this up in a room in your house you're gonna be able to walk around do stuff we don't want people bumping into walls the dog or cat runs in tripping over your cat so these are all sensors that basically notify you of that you set the parameters for what kind of space you're in and then uh, and then you let the VR you let the HTC Vive do the work from there uh, you know, a lot of people with 3D TV, even before virtual reality, they had difficulty with the glasses. Uh, they felt nauseous after using it. Uh, how does this version, uh, I see a lot of little receptors or sensors of some kind on the outside, you know, help help uh, mitigate that effect? Yeah, I mean, um I can't speak to the early from you know additions from the other guys, I, but I am somebody who gets a weak stomach at mm -hmm. times, and I and so I can only speak for me personally and what I heard, and I, I haven't experienced that. So is now the time for VR? Is this when people should start caring about VR? We may they haven't before, and why is that? The world is going to change over the next five, ten years, and VR is going to be a big part of that. The ability to actually not have to fly around the world, uh, but but still be able to walk the streets of Munich and just get a sense of what what the world's like in different parts. I mean. I'm super excited to see how kids are going to use this. How is this going to how, how is this going to help our youth? Is holiday 2015 a, a firm date in your mind? Uh, that is our target. So that's what we're working towards. That's what we're driving developers on. Um, and so we, you know we expect to launch something be, uh, before the holiday 2015. Who's going to be the primary provider of content like this? We've announced several game houses, and we're also talking about you know with with folks like Lionsgate, even HBO, um, r really for content. So this is where that partnership with Valve really comes comes into play because they've got a super strong uh, group of developers and a reputation in this space that, that they deliver. How do you tell someone, whether it's a big video game company or it's a movie studio or somebody at HBO that makes great TV shows, you uh, you should make a VR version of your of your yeah. product, whether it's a game or a movie or a TV show? Well, all these people, as you can imagine, have seen this coming for a while, so they're, they're excited. And our experience when we show them this is that the reaction is quite similar all the time. It's uh, finally, finally we have some experience that fits the vision of what VR was supposed to do and is supposed to do. And what I'm showing you right now is is, is a unit that's already shipping. We're, these are already in people's hands. So the fact that we can announce that and say, okay, we have something ready now, um, the reaction's been fantastic. So am I going to watch Game of Thrones from inside like a battle by looking around? Is that is that kind of where VR is going uh, in terms of sort of semi-interactive experiences? Yeah, I mean, I think there's, there's definitely, with Game of Thrones, who knows, but there's definitely the, uh, the the opportunity to really put you in the center of the news, if that's what it is, the center of a television program, movie, or whatever, and, and really change the viewer's experience so that it's it's a whole lot less passive. The best way I think about it is, is you know, growing up, and you probably the same. You had these books called Choose Your Own Adventure, yeah. right? You could see it, this is take this is Choose Your Own Adventure on steroids. I think once you see it, you can immediately see, geez, this can be awesome with things beyond gaming, education, the ability to take a kid instead of them having to read 30 pages to learn about this time in history or this place in the world right now, to be able to put one of these things on and actually go and be there live and interact and be part of a movement or be part of history is, is, is really fascinating and, and uh, it's something we get geeked up on.